Hi, and they're lovely to meet you yesterday and start working on your game. Uh, it was a great session, covered a lot of areas, uh, but the key points for yourself at this moment in time, when we look at you from down the line, the back swing's on a pretty good line, good position at the top. However, there's that over-the-top move, and you can see as you're coming through impact, club works quickly to the left. When we look at you from face on, again, good setup, nice centred swing on the way back. But then as we come down now, there's very little linear movement. There's a lot of rotation with the upper body, and both centres get on top of the golf ball as we're coming into P6. So very little separation, this low, upper centre here and lower centre. Very little difference between the two. A lot of flex in the left knee. And from there now, you're going to have to work really hard to bring that club out of its descent. So just run that back again to the top. Remember what we're trying to do when we swing within the stack and tilt pattern. We're trying to swing around a fixed axis. If we just put this line down here, we can see that as the start of the downswing, there's a big move down and forward there as you're starting down. So quite a steep descending blow coming into impact. Normally when the right shoulder is very high, the player then has to release the right arm and the cock in the wrist and put in particular to make contact with the golf ball. So the maintenance of this wedge is nigh on impossible as you come through impact. So the thing we're suggesting you do originally is make a little bit more of a linear move during the downswing. So here we have you doing the drill where you're swinging into the wall. Let's play that back for us. So from the normal top of the backswing position, what I would say is when you do this drill, make a shorter backswing because otherwise you're in danger of moving off the ball a little bit in an attempt to keep the club from hitting the golf ball. So what you're going to do from there is move the hips forward. You can see the linear movement there now. And that is exaggerated, but that linear movement gives you the tilt in the spine. And again, just play that back. You may look like you drop back. But if we put this line at the side of your head, you can see that as you start down, the lower centre moves forward and the upper centre is much more stable. So everything is moving forward, but because the lower centre moves forward at a faster rate, we get the tilt in the spine and we get the retention of the angles in the right arm and the wrist. That's a much more powerful move. You're going to allow yourself to keep the club working from the inside. Remember what we said yesterday, the minute the, the hips stop moving forward, the club starts to work to the left. So in order to hit out at the ball for longer, you've got to move your hips further forward for longer. So keep moving them hips in a linear manner. Also, what we need to do then is learn what goes on through impact. And what we suggested you do is try and feel like pressure point number three, which is the base of this index finger here, is staying on the shaft or the side of the shaft throughout the impact. You can see there are now much more shaft lean coming into impact. A little bit more separation between the two centres than what we see originally. And the left knee not quite as flexed and certainly more shuffling. So even though we covered a lot of areas, the two key points are increase the linear movement in your hips and improve the, the amount of lean you have on the shaft through impact. If the shaft's leaning forward more through impact, again, that is going to encourage more linear movement and it's also going to encourage you to hit out at the golf ball for longer. So from the top of your backswing, P4 to P6 is linear movement in the hips. P6 to P7 is keeping pressure point 3 on the side of the club throughout that move. They're the two key aspects that you need to work on before we get to the end of the next. I will email you some images across at some point in the coming weeks just to emphasise the two areas that we discussed during your session. Good luck with it. As I said yesterday, if there's any problems or there's any questions you want to ask, feel free to drop me an email or send me a text. Great to see you and look forward to doing it again soon. Well done.